Today, I'll be reviewing episode 10 of Plate Cool Guys, Day Off. Last time, we had found out about Takayuki's senpai. So, what do you think of this episode? It's a wholesome episode and I'll say it here. Warning! The alarm clock has the spoilers! The episode begins with Takayuki being unable to turn off the alarm clock. We get to this episode's title, Day Off. After realizing that he's late for work, he hurries up when he sees his sister and his niece. He realizes that today's a holiday and his sister leaves off her kid at his place. It's revealed that the little girl's name is Richon and she has a girl version of this show's mascot, a teddy bear. Richon is quite cute. Takayuki prepares his breakfast as he had overslept. He eats it and Richon says that she wants to go to Koguma Land with her mom and uncle. Richon is drawing her teddy bear and she says that she's gonna be an older sister and even says that men can't have babies. This episode is based. While Richon is watching some kitty anime, Takayuki realizes that it's time for lunch. As he takes out their lunch boxes, Richon says that you eat bento in a park. Meanwhile, Shun is jogging at the park and he forgot to open the running app. We see an imagination sequence of Shun studying and then Haite being impressed about it. He sees Takayuki with a kid and realizes that Takayuki is the guy who forgot that hedgehog notebook back in episode 7. After this, he tells Takayuki all about the notebook. As Richan is about to fall off a slide, Shun rushes towards her only for her to sit down safely and he goes to slide down the sand. Takayuki realizes that Shun is a good kid and we later see Asami talk about Shun. While this is going on, Richan is eating some ice cream. We must protect her smile. Now! Takayuki asks Richan about the cafe and she says yes. And so the episode ends. This episode was quite wholesome and it's based off chapter 10 from the manga. The stuff that Richan had said about babies and family is quite the counter to the anti-family stuff that's manifest in our day and age. I recommend this episode due to this reason. I swear, the Japanese are promoting family in their manga and anime now. So, what will happen next? Come join me next week as I'll be reviewing episode 10. Support small channels like mine by subscribing and liking this video.